We've been keeping a really big secret from you guys. Hey guys, it's Angel and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time no see and even the past few videos that I posted which were literally months ago, those were months late. <laughs> So I know it's been really, really quiet around here for almost the past year and I do apologize for that, but I have so many ideas in my head about the videos that I want to be making over the next few months and so I'm really hoping that I'll be able to find the time to film those and edit those and post those for you guys because I just have so much I want to say and so much I want to share. So. On that vein, the reason why we're here talking today is because we've been keeping a really big secret from you guys. Before I get any further, no, it is not another baby. Like we said, Sullivan is our last baby, at least the last one we plan anyway. But a lot has happened and really, really big things for our family that we haven't talked about. And I think it's time to talk about it because it's been a while. So the first main thing is we're no longer living in Washington. We left Washington at the very end of September and we drove down the coast. We visited my husband Justin's grandparents who are in the San Francisco Bay Area. We stayed with them for a few days and then we continued on down to San Diego. So we got down here to my parents house and Justin stayed for about a week until it was time for him to fly back to Washington which was because his ship deployed. He's on the USS John C. Stennis and it left for deployment mid-October. So he's been gone for a while already. It's already been more than two months since he left and of course we have quite a few months left to go. We decided that the kids and I were gonna come down here and stay with my parents during his deployment, especially because once his deployment is over, his ship is actually changing home ports to Virginia. And he has a few months left with the ship once it gets there, but not enough time left with the ship for the Navy to wanna move us out to Virginia with him and most of the other families of the sailors who are attached to the Stennis have moved to Virginia or will be moving to Virginia but he didn't have enough time left before his what's called the PRD projected rotation date so they didn't want to move us out they wanted us to stay in Washington um, but I was not about to want to do solo parenting for almost an entire year far away from family and friends and most of our support. So that's why we came down here to be with my parents. Almost all of my family lives down here. A lot of friends live down here. I have a much better support system down here. We do have soft orders for where he will be going next after his time with the Stennis is up, but they have already changed slightly since they were first given to him in September. So they haven't reached the official hard copy orders yet. That probably won't be until this coming summer. So I think we're going to hold off on announcing what those are until it gets closer. And there's not a chance that they will change because I don't want to say, you know, we're going X and then it changes and then we have to do it again. <laughs> so we do have those orders. We're not quite ready to share them yet, um, but stay tuned for that. We will make Make a special video to announce that when that time comes just like last time if you haven't seen that video I'm going to link that for you so you can check that out I really love the video it's one of my favorites still on how it turned out anyway so yes he's gonna be gone for almost a whole year we're gonna be in San Diego during that time and we're really trying to keep the kids busy to try to keep them distracted and occupied of course it's been very hard having him gone and I know we're just getting started. I do intend to make a lot more videos about the Navy, about deployment. He's been in almost eight years now, so I feel like I've really gotten a good feel for what being a Navy family is like, and there's a lot of information I've learned over the years that I would like to pass on to you guys. So definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss those. So that's our announcement. He is deployed, we are in San Diego, 
he is going around the world and I think that'll be a really interesting experience for him. So far they have made port in Singapore, which was about a month ago. As far as where he's going to go next, we have no idea. He knows where his next port is going to be, which is going to be very soon, but he is not allowed to tell me yet, so I don't know where that is. The latest information that the Navy has made public is that they are in the Persian Gulf area. Um, so that's all that I know. I don't know exactly which port he's going to make and I don't know where they're going to go after they leave that area and he won't be able to tell me until he's there. <laughs> so the Navy has definitely become a lot more tight-lipped about that sort of thing because it is an OPSEC situation. OPSEC is short for operational security. So they want to keep it secret on what their plans are and exact dates and exact locations and morale and equipment and all that kind of stuff because they don't want the enemy to find out that information and be able to use it against them. They want them to stay as safe as possible and I'm okay with that. So I'm okay with not knowing that much if it means that he'll be that much safer. That's really important to me and so it's really important for everyone to be on board with OPSEC and make sure that they're following those rules so that our sailors can come back home safely. So I have some more videos in the works that I want to make here in the very near future. Videos about the Christmas care package that I mailed to Justin. I actually sent it a month ago and he got it. I mailed five boxes in that span of almost an entire month of November and he got them all at once. <laughs> so it's just you know, depends on how they batch out the mail. I will make a video more in detail about care packages and how that all works, um, but I'm going to post about what I got him for Christmas. I'm also going to post about what I got the kids for Christmas, what's in their stockings, just like I do every year. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Hit, again, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hope everyone has happy holidays. I will see you in the next video. Bye!